The Beast, Mike Tyson versus the Goliath, Andrew Golota. His power, strength, mobility, dedication, and high energy makes him the Iron Man. Only the chief second and the boxer in the ring. Everybody outside to be out. Versus Andrew Galota, the challenger Goliath, who is way more higher and bulkier than Tyson. Only the chief second. This guy Tyson is one of the most dreaded boxer. During the peak of his career, most of his counterparts are hesitant to fight him. He looks aggressive and wouldn't settle in one place in the ring, while Golota looks anxious. During the match, if only you can read their minds, it seems really odd for Golota having an anxious face while Mike Tyson looks firm and fierce. Before the fight starts, Frank Garza. Okay, guys. I can see Mike's belly button right there, and that's going to be the line. So anything on his trunks or cups, I'm going to consider a low blow. His is up a little high. His belly button's right there, so I'm going to give Mike right here that red line. You got it? Okay. We already went through all the directions in the dressing room. Do you have any questions? No questions. Any questions no in this questions. corner? Let's okay, gentlemen, right. let's, let's do it right. right. Touch them up. May the best man win. Guys are looking to take charge from the outset. And the most awaited fight begins. As soon as the bell rings, Mike Tyson's aggressiveness begins by throwing several punches at once against the face of Golota. Tyson keeps himself closer to Golota, therefore making Golota's reach a disadvantage as he couldn't create a huge leap and powerful blow towards Mike Tyson. Golota's reach is useful if he keeps distance from Tyson. But Tyson is a smart beast. His agility makes him hungrier to move in fast pace closer to his opponent than releasing his lethal weapon. Cunning move by Tyson, fast footworks and eventually landing in front of Golota. He is a big target, and Mike's got a lot of man to work with in front of him. He's throwing some big body shots, but not throwing any hard punches at all. Tyson nice looking to resurrect his aura of invincibility. But I was not really using any of the leverage either. He's staying too straight, he's not banging, he's not using that height and that reach, he's slapping a lot. He's still afraid. Nice right hand. Blocked by Golana. And then a right uppercut. Blocked by Tyson. Here's the left jab by Golana. That scores. This is what he... Someone who has a longer weapon will never be a match to someone who has a shorter one. The tendency is always an advantage for the shorter in a short distance. Okay, step back, both of you. Step back, quickly. Step back, my break. I saw the big wide right hand. Okay, no wrestling, no wrestling. Let it go. Keep it clean, no wrestling. We approach the final 30 seconds. Get him up, Andrew. Get him up. Let it go. Let him go. Let him go. Left side of the face, over the left eye of Delano. There's that hand by Mike on the top, too. He did it again, working that cut. And a left hook to the head by Tyson. Off his head, off his head. Nope, nope. Yeah, he's doing an excellent job, Steve. And here we go. Finally, Mike Tyson connects Three. right straight on the face. Four. Delano is Six. down. Six. The last stop just to go quickly. Here are the final seconds of the round one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Look at the power coming from the right all around to Golota's face that makes him down. How intense was it? Look at the wave created on his face. It was tremendous blow from the iron fist. Super slow move from the other side. Oh, you can see the shock waves sent to Galata's jaw and chin. That is just a beautiful right hand. But he got it quickly. This is the terrifying fate of Andrew Galota, and you will be shocked on his next move. Tyson wants to finish the fight, so he bombarded rapidly with so many punches. But Golota was an evader working on his neck and head movements. Golota suffered more from the iron fist of Mike Tyson. Golota has something lingering in his mind as of this moment. You will be surprised later what he will do next. After this, a commotion will happen in the part of Golota's team. A confused team coaches and members on Golota's move. Golota's behavior is obviously is out of control, pushing his coach and the referee. Eventually he went down from the rink after moving back and forth making everyone from the spectators out of control. He immediately gained the wrath of the viewers.
his fans throw things at him after he quits at the end of two rounds. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Let's hope this doesn't really get out of hand now. It's getting very ugly here. But I am with Delota. He just made a spectacular decision on his life. He evaded to be disabled for life, so he made a decision to end the fight after the third round. The second round was a better round for Galata. He got the mic a little bit, tied him up, was starting to do what he wanted to Galota do. Galota suffered a lot after the fight. And these are reasons why he quit the fight against Mike Tyson. He suffered concussion on his brain. He suffered to, uh, herniated discs. We're going to go back into the uh, locker room and try and speak with him then. Uh, ice is pouring out. There's been a lot of coins thrown into the ring, and I just think that uh, he wants to leave before... Uh, the and lastly, he suffered a fracture on his face. The decision, decision was acceptable, and you can't judge Galota on his action. He deserved to be to safer than suffer more. At round three, referee in charge, Frank Garza, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, Iron. Mike Tyson. So there's the official.